Hi everyone, my name is Maureen Hamosa from STI College Caloacan and for today's video, I'm going to perform the water, pepper and soap experiment. It is very simple and it only needs three ingredients. First is water, second is pepper and of course the soap. It is very simple but it also demonstrates how to prevent the coronavirus. Let's see how it goes. Hi everyone, so first we got the water and pepper and of course the soap. First, we are going to sprinkle the pepper at the top of the water. Pshim, pshim, pshim. Okay. After that, we are going to put the soap at the tip of our finger. Okay, a little bit. And then we will put our finger at the bottom of the water. See? Earlier guys, I told you that this experiment also demonstrates how to prevent the coronavirus. Let's say that this pepper um, acts as a bacteria or virus. And these are hands, water, and soap. We all know that if we wash our hands with soap and water, we can prevent the coronavirus. So, look at this. See, if we wash our hands, the virus will go away. But it's not the real explanation of this experiment. The truth is, it demonstrates surface tension. When we sprinkle the pepper on the water, most of it will stay floating on the surface of the water. This is because the pepper flakes are so light that the surface tension of the water keeps them from floating on. However, when you add a little bit dish soap, the surface tension of the water is disturbed. The water molecules move away from the soap, taking the pepper with them. This causes the pepper to move or run away from the center of the plate. That's what we call surface tension. Remember that the cohesive forces among the liquid molecules are responsible for this phenomenon. This is what we call the surface tension. <laughs> 